Here's a quick tuning. Low E. A. D. G. B. And E. Hi, I'm Steve Lynch, and we're going to have some fun doing some hammer-ons today. The first thing we're going to start out on is pentatonics, and I'm going to go through those five positions with you right now, starting on the low E string on the third fret. Okay, now this is going to be in the key of E for rock, okay? So it's going to be G major pentatonic or E minor blues pentatonic, most likely using the key of E. Okay, the first position goes like this. <laughs> The second position. Third position. Fourth position. And the fifth position. And of course the octave. This is the same one that we started off on down on the third fret. Now we're starting off on the 17th fret. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to connect like the first two positions that I did by incorporating the right hand, okay? Now, you remember the position. The first one was this one. And the second one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest the thumb of my right hand on top of the neck like this. This guideline idea works the same as when you're picking. Okay, you, you use uh, your palm, a lot of people do this, they use their palm as a guideline for when they're picking. Now this anchor um, or guideline keeps your right hand from stiffening up. See, if you do it freehand, you're not going to be as accurate. And um, you're not gonna, you're not, your right hand is also going to tighten up a bit, in which you don't want that to happen. Your wrist will tighten up because then you'll be using your whole arm to actually get the note out instead of just using the power from your wrist. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to hammer on with the right hand onto the second position, okay? So it's going to go like this. I'm going to hit down, pull off, second hand, or to the uh, left hand, and then hammer on, okay? Next string. See how I'm connecting these two positions here? See, that was the first position, the first and second position combined. Okay, then you go up to the next one. Okay, that was the second and third position combined. And the next one. Okay, that was the third and fourth position combined. Okay, the next one. Okay, that was the fourth and fifth position combined, okay? Then the next one, this is when you're gonna throw in the octave one, okay? Now this is this will be the fifth and the octave position combined. Okay, now when you learn these, I want you to learn them all ascending and descending, okay? So you'll be playing it like, say for instance, the last one we did, we'll play out of this position.
you see what I'm doing is I'm hammering on fairly hard with my right hand onto that first note, and I'm pulling down and away to get the, the sound of the second note, and then I'm hammering on with my left hand to get the sound of the third note. Okay? Now what you want to do is you want to go through all these positions with the first finger of your right hand, and then go through them with just the second finger of your right hand, then just the third, and then just the fourth. Okay? Another thing you can do with these, and this also helps build strength, in your left hand is you can do pull-offs with it. Like, I'll start at the top of that last position now. See, the left hand is doing pull-offs now. Okay, now another thing you can do with this is like, um, we'll go back down to where the, uh, s let's see, second and third position was combined. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start down on the sixth string, I'm gonna go up three strings, back down one, up three strings, back down one, and up three. This is gonna give it a sequencing effect, okay? Now, up three, back down one, up three, back down one, up three, back down one, and up three. Okay, so all together it's gonna sound like this. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna be trying the same idea, but we're gonna be up back up here at the um, octave and fifth position, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down three strings, up one, down three, up one, down three, up one, down three, like this. Okay, now we're going to go into a part that is um, combining two different pentatonic positions, actually three. We're going to be combining the first one, the second one, and the third one. But by doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, the left hand playing one position here. Okay, then the right hand will be playing another position up here. Okay, so combined, it's going to be like this. Okay, see how that works? Okay, now I want to show you a couple ideas out of this. Uh -huh. Let's go back up to the um, fifth position here with the octave, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the idea of um, going down, pulling off. Every time I hammer onto a note here, see I'm going to start at the top of this position here and then pull off two notes here, okay? Then I'm going to go down to the next note and play the same two notes with my left hand. Then down to the next string and do the same thing. Down to the third string and do the same thing. Fourth string. Fifth string and sixth string. Okay, so all together it's going to sound like this. Okay. okay, now another way that you can do this is that you can take it and you can um, go down like Okay, if I was to play just with my right or my left hand here, it would go down like this. See, that's the pattern I'm going to be playing. It's kind of down in fourth. You go down a fourth and then you go up that fourth there. Okay, so this is what it's going to sound like.
Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how the fingering happens here. See my left hand here? It covers four frets, okay? Each finger is going to be assigned to a fret, okay? And then on my right hand, I'm going to think of it the same way. See, so going down that scale, it'll be, since it's only three frets apart here, it'll be three and one on the right hand, okay? Then four and one on the right hand, then four and one again on the right hand, three and one, three and one, three and one. Okay, so the same way that you would um, finger for your left hand, you also finger for your right hand. In this next section, we're going to learn some hammer-on exercises. This is going to build up strength and coordination in your right and left hands. First of all, we're going to start with the left hand on the third fret. Okay, that'll be the first finger on the third fret, second finger fourth, third finger fifth, and fourth finger sixth, okay? Then on the right hand, you're going to start on the eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh, like that. So each finger is going to be assigned to a fret. Okay, first of all, we're going to start with the first finger of the right hand hammering onto the eighth fret, pulling off to the first finger of the left, left hand, which is going to be on the third fret, okay? Then up to the sec second finger, back down to the first, If we were to play this shape just with the left hand, it would go like this. Okay, now you see the shape that the right hand is playing is exactly the same. It just precedes what is going on with the left hand, okay? So this is the way it's going to go. And I'm also going to put in an ascending part. When I get down to the last note, then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to go back up to the first note we started with. Okay, so it's going to be completely reversed when I get to the last note. Start this out slowly, and then you can build it up to speed, okay? So it's a good exercise for all four fingers on both left and right hands. Okay, another exercise we can do is with the third finger of the left hand, hold on the fifth fret on the G string, just hold that note in place. And then with the first finger of the right hand, do like this. Start, start a, a tremolo going, okay? Real relaxed. Now without breaking the momentum of the tremolo, switch from the first finger of the right hand to the second finger of the right hand, third finger, fourth finger, back to third, second, and first. Keep on doing this over and over again. This will help build up uh, that, that kind of tremolo thing that we'll be doing later on. Another exercise you can do is uh, 